Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and we talked about all the snooping that's going to be increased with Google that now will let advertisers do fingerprinting in a much more invasive way where they will really give you an identity on the web. So how do you test your browser for that kind of thing? Well, what you could do is go to a website that basically is the coveryourtracks.eff.org. So this is uh, the Electronic Frontier Foundation that has a website that will test um, what companies do with your browser and um, you will know if your browser is good. So of course you guys with Brave could try it, see what it's gonna bring back. So here I'm gonna actually do this test with a, you know, Google Chrome browser that has no extensions, no blocking of any kind, just standard Google Chrome the way it is. So what you do is you go and you test your browser on the left side here, and you let it do what it has to do, and it's gonna actually uh, do a few refreshes because it's going to be checking out what exactly can it see on your browser, and it's gonna tell you how safe or how private you are. So here, our tests indicate that you're not protected against tracking on the web. And this is a standard Google Chrome with no extensions, no nothing, no blockers. So this is what it looks like. And of course, there are ways to change this. You can go into your Chrome browser and say that you want less tracking. And of course, that could change things around. You can use ad blockers. You can use all sorts of extensions. Some uh, third-party antivirus ad extensions that actually um, remove some of the tracking. So these are ways to check it out. So the link to this website is in the the uh, the uh, description below. Now I'll give you another example. We'll do the same, but with the stock Firefox browser. Firefox often says, well, you know, we are um, here to um, protect you and make sure that, um, you know, snooping isn't as bad. So cover your tracks. We're going to do the same test. We'll do it in the Firefox browser. So test your browser. And here you'll see that the d results are actually different. It's going to tell you that there's some, um, some tracking that is blocked. So it tells you at some point here, let's check it out. So Firefox and our tests indicate that you have some protection against web tracking, but it has some gaps. So, which means technically using Firefox protects you more against snooping than using Google Chrome, but it's not perfect. So um, one of the reasons why, by the way, some of protection gaps exist is that the more you close down your browser, the more you might have problems with some of the websites online because some websites just don't want you to go there without any form of tracking um, because that's how they actually can deliver ads and, of course, pay the bills. Uh, that's what you also got to think about uh, if your favorite websites. So anyways, uh, you can test it out with other browsers, Brave and so on, and see what comes back as a result. But this gives you an idea of you know, how it is. Uh, let's do another test here with Edge. So here in Edge, we're going to use, once again, the standard Edge without any thing changed and see uh, if what it actually returns as a result. So uh, see how trackers view your browser. Yeah. So this is kind of cool to have websites like this that tell you so you're not protected against tracking on the web, and it says nothing. So let's go and change something. We're going to go into the settings, and in the settings, uh, we're going to uh, actually check out the uh, privacy search. So here we're in balanced. Let's see if I put strict as a new setting. So the strict feature uh, will be, you know, enabled. So here's all the ad stuff that's in there. So let's see what strict will do and uh, see if it's better. So now I'm using strict. I'm just going to shut down, turn on the browser. 
And let's see if strict changes anything when you use that on the uh, Microsoft Edge browser. Will it say that you're partially protected? Which it should, technically. So it all depends on your choice of protection here. Tests indicate that you have strong protection against web tracking. So it seems that that feature of Microsoft Edge of um, you know lowering the tracking uh, by changing your settings is pretty good. So if you want to try that, but remember some websites might be broken when you do, but it seems that the Edge strict feature really blocks a lot of the tracking. So you can check that out. I'll choose balance again because I know some websites that I have will not work, but uh, it's a pretty cool feature. You can check that out. So the link to the uh, website tracking um, test is in the description below. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.